Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is my best friend, Mika. Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. And this is our car, the Blippi Mobile. Yeah, the Blippi Mobile takes us to amazing places where we have awesome adventures. I wonder, where will we go today? Jump in the Blippi Mobile. Jump in. We're playing and learning along the way. Hey, adventures, come this way. It's Blippi and Mika's ultimate road trip. Yay! Mika! <sighs> Look what just came in the mail. We got an invitation to the ultimate, ultimate bouncy house, house Bonanza. Whoa, look at those pictures. There's every kind of bouncy house possible. <gasps> Ooh, there's a huge bouncy pirate ship. Where I could pretend to be a bouncy pirate. Yar! <laughs> and look, bouncy obstacle courses. Yeah, I could crawl through that tunnel and bounce over that wall and slide down that huge slide. Where is this bouncy dream come true? I need to know. Hmm. It says it's in the big park by the river in the big city. Wait, are you thinking what I'm thinking? <gasps> Road trip! Hey, friend, do you want to come with us? All right! <laughs> awesome! I'll check the maps I've got in my jam pack. Meet you at the... Blippi Mobile! <laughs> L-I-P-P-I-M-O-B-I-L-E Click, click, put your seatbelts on Get ready for a ride, we're gonna have some fun In the Blippi Mobile, we'll drive away Finding new adventures, we'll laugh and play Let's ride! L-I-P-P-I Let's go! O-B-I-L-E Whoa! Look how tall all the buildings are! Everything is huge here and loud. All right, according to my map and compass watch, the big park with the bouncy house bonanza is all the way on the other side of the city. And I know the perfect game to play while we drive there. What's outside your window? Hey friend, do you want to play what's outside your window with us? Awesome! Oh. You can look outside. I'll close your eyes. Imagine what you see. A monster truck. A plane. Who knows? What's outside your window? Okay, I'll go first. I see lots and lots of people walking on the crowded sidewalks. People on bicycles are zooming by, ringing their bells. <laughs> there are so many cars in front of us that the bicycles are moving faster than we are. What do you see outside your window? And what sound does it make? Awesome! I'm so excited to get to the ultimate bouncy house bonanza! I wonder, why are the cars in front of us going so slowly? I think it's because of that huge crowd of people gathered up ahead. Welcome! Welcome one and all to this Let's pull over and see what's going on. With the cutting of this ribbon, I, Mayor Bethany Big Shot, declare this brand new subway station open! Whoa! Who is that? Let's go meet her. Hey! It's me, Blippi. And this is my best friend, Mika. Nice to meet ya. Oh, oh hello there, Blippi and Mika. <laughs> I'm Mayor Bethany Big Shot, but you can call me Mayor B. Okay, Mayor B. Wait, what's a mayor? The mayor is the leader of the whole city. It's my job to make sure the city runs well. And I make decisions, like building this new subway station. So cool! Wait, what's a subway? Oh, you've got a lot of questions, Blippi. Yeah, I like that. A subway is a train that runs underground, under the streets and buildings. An underground train? So cool! Oh, 
It's a great way to travel in a crowded city like this. As you can see, many people get around by walking, or if you use a wheelchair like I do, by rolling. To go long distances in the city, you can ride the subway. I love riding trains. Toot toot. <laughs> well, I've just officially opened this new station, which has a spiffy elevator for people like me who can't use the stairs. That's awesome. Hey, Mayor B, can we ride the subway to get to the park with the ultimate bouncy house bonanza? <laughs> the bouncy house bonanza. Ooh, one of my best ideas. All right, the subway will get you halfway there. I'll take you. Come on. Down, down, down. Underground we go. Whoa, it's so cool down here. There are so many people and so many noises. Hey, I know the perfect game we can play. What's that sound? Yeah, do you want to play too? Awesome, what's that sound? Follow your ears, what do you hear? A honk, a splash, or even a roar. Listen all around for the sounds today. Okay, let's listen. Whoa, there are musicians down here? I hear one playing a guitar. What do you hear? That is awesome. Oh, this is our train. Let's get on. We need to go three stops. At each stop, the doors will open with a bing bong. Then the doors close and we keep going. Got it? Three stops, got it. Do you want to count the stops with us? Great, here we go. One. Two. Three. Oh, we're here, next. You need to head up to the street to catch the bus. It will take you to the park where you can bounce your hearts out. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait! Okay, Mayor B, do you want to come with us? Oh, I have to go two more stops on the subway to City Hall where I have many big important things to do in my big fancy office. Thanks for showing us around your awesome big city, Mayor B. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Have fun bouncing. <laughs> Mika, that sign says the bus is just up these stairs. Let's go. Oh, here's the bus now. Let's get on. Ultimate Bouncy House Bonanza. Here we come. Hmm. Why is the bus stopping? Everyone is getting off. Uh-oh, look, there's a bridge up ahead and it's closed. Oh, and the park is on the other side of the river. Oh no, how will we get to the bouncy house bonanza? We're stuck. Don't worry, Mika, we'll find another way. Oh look, a ferry boat. The people from the bus are all getting on it. It must go across the river. Cool, let's go. <laughs> Sometimes when you're stuck, you just have to find another way. First we took a car, then we walked, then we got on a subway train, then a bus, and now we're on a boat. <laughs> there are so many ways to get around a big city. Did you know if you ever get stuck? In the city, well, you're in luck. Cause there's always a way to get around. Let's learn a few of them now. Yeah! Beep, beep, that's the sound of the car to the ding, ding, elevator at the subway. Bing, bong, now the train door's open. Sing, sing as we walk away to the ding, ring of a bicycle bell. And we toot, toot on the ferry as well. But if you want to get someplace soon, jump in the flippy mobile and vroom, vroom, vroom. We across the river. Oh, look, Mika, there's 
the park! Wow, Blippi! I've never seen so many bouncy houses and castles and obstacle courses and even more bouncy stuff. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I'll start by going down this awesome bouncy slide. Look at me, Pirate Blippi, bouncing super high in my awesome bouncy pirate ship. Yar! <laughs> it's been so much fun learning new things today. What did we learn today? Learning is so cool. One, two, three, can you tell me? I learned that a subway is an underground train that people use to get around the big city. And to get down to it, elevators help people that can't use stairs, like Mayor Big Shot. Yeah, and that lots of people get around the big city by walking or riding on buses. Yeah, and that when you're stuck, you can always find another way, like riding a ferry boat to get across the river. That was an awesome trip. I liked it all so much. Wait, I have an idea. Let's have another road trip real soon. Great idea, Mika. And you're invited too. Bye. Bye bye. Wow, Mika, that sunset was so colorful. Yeah, what a pretty night. Look, there's just a little streak of orange left at the edge of the sky. Yeah, it's pretty dark out. <gasps> uh oh, how will we see our way back to the clubhouse? Now, oh, don't worry. In my jam pack, I've got a flashlight. Good thinking, Mika. Whoa, what's that? Shine the light up there, Mika. Are those birds? Most birds don't fly at night. So those must be bats. So cool. I wonder, where are they going? And how can they see where they're going in the dark? Let's follow them and find out. That's a great idea. Wait, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Road trip! Hey, friend, do you want to come with us? All right. <laughs> awesome. I'll check the maps I've got in my jam pack. Meet you at the Blippi Mobile. <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I-M-O-B-I-L-E Click, click, put your seatbelts on Get ready for a ride, we're gonna have some fun In the Blippi Mobile, we'll drive away Finding new adventures, we'll laugh and play Let's ride! L-I-P-P-I Let's go! O-B-I-L-E To follow the bats, we're gonna need to fly I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. <laughs> the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Woohoo! We're flying! This is awesome! And with the Blippi Mobile's super strong headlights, we can see where we're going. <laughs> yeah! And look, there are the bats. Let's follow them. Here we go! Hmm, I wonder where they're leading us. While we follow them, I have the perfect game we could play. What's outside your window? Hey friend, do you want to play What's Outside Your Window with us? Awesome! Oh, you can look outside. Or close your eyes. Imagine, imagine what you see. A monster truck. A play. Who knows? What's outside your window? Hmm, it's pretty dark out there. What was that? Oh, I see something sitting on that treetop. It's an owl. Who, who, to you too, owl? <laughs> what do you see outside your window? And what sound does it make? Awesome! Uh, Mika, the bats are flying right toward the side of that hill. They're not just flying towards the hill, Blippi. They're flying into the hill. The bats are leading us into that cave. cave! Whoa! We're 
You're in a cave, Mika. Let's hop out and have a look around with your flashlight. Yeah. Ooh. It's so cool in here. The walls and ceiling are all made of rock. And some of it is super sparkly. Yeah. And look, there's a river in here. Hello? Who's there? Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is my best friend, Mika. Nice to meet ya. It's nice to meet you, too. I'm Isabella Caverna. What are you doing in this cave, Isabella? I'm a spelunker. Do you know what that is? Yeah, that's the sound a rock makes when you throw it in the water. Like this. Hey. <laughs> yes, it did sort of go spelunk, Blippi. But a spelunker is also a person who explores caves, like me. Cool. This cave was formed by the river slowly carving away the rock over millions of years. Look, here's a map of the whole cave. Ooh, I love maps. And I have all kinds of maps here in my jam pack. Look. Yeah, maps are great. Look here. Deep in the cave is this huge underground grand chamber. It's amazing. I wish you could see it, but you can't get to it right now. Why not? The river is too high, so the only way to reach it is by going underwater. Well, that's no problem at all when you have the Blippi Mobile. Oh, great. Here, take my map and take this walkie-talkie so we can communicate along the way. Thanks, Isabella. <laughs> I'm gonna need the propeller and duck feet. Propeller, duck feet, confirm. Grand chamber, here we come. Whoa, we're going so deep into this cave, Blippi. Oh, look, fish and crabs too. And they're all completely white. How's it going, you two? Great! We're seeing some cool fish and crabs that are all white. Why don't they have any color? Without our flashlights and the Blippimobile's headlights, it's completely dark in here. There's nothing to see, so they have no need for colors. If they can't see, how do they know where they're going? Great question! The crabs get around by feeling their way, and the fish follow their noses and smell their way. They use their other senses. So cool. Blippi, according to the map, we should be in the Grand Chamber. To the surface. Going up. Wow. This place is huge. It feels like we're in a giant theater. And listen. I echo! <laughs> <laughs> Echoes are awesome! Your voice is bouncing off the cave walls and coming back to our ears. So we hear it again and again. Awesome! La 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 la! <laughs> <laughs> you sound amazing, Blippi. Hey, I know the perfect game we can play. What's that sound? Yeah! Do you want to play too? Awesome! What's that sound? Follow your ears, what do you hear? A honk, a splash, or even a roar! Listen all around for the sounds today! Okay, let's turn off our flashlights to make it completely dark and just listen. <gasps> I know what sound that is. The flapping wings of bats. And they're squeaking, too. What do you hear? That is awesome! Whoa! Why are those bats so squeaky? The bats squeak. Then they listen for their squeaks to bounce off the walls and come back to their ears. That way, they can hear where the walls are, even though they can't see them. It's called echolocation. Whoa, there are so many ways to get around. The bats use their ears, the fish follow their noses, and the crabs feel their way around. Yeah, 
if we can't do something one way, we can always find another way. And that's great! <laughs> nocturnal, nocturnal, nocturnal animals. Some animals sleep in the day. No way! Then wake up at night to play. So silly. And to get to where they need to be, be, be. They use more than their eyes to see, see, see. Fishes use their nose, crabs crawl around the cove. Bats use their ears to hear when things are near. Nocturnal, nocturnal, nocturnal animals. Nocturnal, nocturnal, nocturnal animals. Hey, Mika, we gotta give Isabella her map and walkie-talkie back. Right, let's go. Bye-bye, fish and crabs. Hey, there's Isabella. That was amazing, Isabella. Thanks for lending us your walkie-talkie and map and for helping us find the Grand Chamber. No problem. Come back anytime and we'll explore some more. Bye. Bye. Okay, fly us home, Blippi. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. It's been so much fun learning new things today. What did we learn today? Learning is so cool. One, two, three, can you tell me? That cave was awesome. And we learned that bats get around in the dark with only their ears using echolocation. Yeah, and there are some fish that get around by smelling their way and some crabs that navigate by feeling their way along. So cool. That was an awesome trip. I liked it all so much. Wait, I have an idea. Let's have another road trip real soon. Great idea, Mika. And you're invited too. Bye. Bye. bye And now we'll add a carrot nose to our snowman friend. I think we just made the best snowman ever! Don't you, Mika? We sure did! I love snowy days! How about you, Debo? <laughs> oh, maybe not. Debo doesn't have a winter coat and hat to stay warm like we do. Hmm, I wonder, how do animals stay warm in the cold? <laughs> What's that, Debo? You're pretending to be a seal. Now you're a bear! Ooh, a polar bear! And now a walrus! <laughs> so silly! Hmm, but what do those animals have in common? I think they're all cold weather animals. Seals, polar bears, and walruses live in the Arctic, one of the coldest places in the world! Wait! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Road trip! Hey, friend! Do you want to come with us? All right! <laughs> awesome! I'll check the maps I've got in my jam pack. Meet you at the... Blippi Mobile! <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I-M-O-B Click, click, put your seatbelts on. Get ready for a ride. We're gonna have some fun in the Blippi Mobile. We'll drive away, finding new adventures. We'll laugh and play. Let's ride. L I P P I. Let's go. O B I L E. Okay, are you ready, Mika? Ready, Blippi. I'm gonna need jet wings. Jet wings confirmed. Mobile is ready for adventure. Thanks, Debo. We'll see you soon. Here we go. All right, Blippi. According to the map, the jet powered Blippi Mobile has brought us to the Arctic. But all I see on the ground is snow. There's nowhere to drive. In that case, I'm going to need the Blippi Snowmobile. Snowmobile confirmed. <laughs> yeah! Now we've got skis and tracks 
just like a real snowmobile. We'll be moving and grooving in no time. And I know the perfect game to play while we drive around in the snow. What's outside your window? Hey friend, do you want to play What's Outside Your Window with us? Awesome! Oh. You can look outside. Or close your eyes. Imagine, imagine what, what you see. A monster truck. A plane. Who knows? What's outside your window? Okay, I'll go first. Wow! I see an icy ocean and a school of shiny white whales playing in the waves. What do you see outside your window? And what sound does it make? Awesome! Hey, Mika! There's a red building ahead of us with a sign that says Eureka Arctic Research Station. And look! A man on skis in a big coat is waving at us. Let's say hi. Hello there, you two. Color me surprised to see ya. Don't get too many visitors up here in the Arctic, that's for sure. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is my best friend, Mika. Nice to meet ya. Well, I go by Mackenzie, and I'm up here at the Eureka Research Station to study Arctic wildlife. Wow, we're here to find out how cold weather animals stay warm. <laughs> well, you came to the right place, eh? <laughs> Mackenzie, while we were driving around in our blippy snowmobile, we saw some whales that were white from their heads to their tails. Well, sure, that'd be the beautiful beluga. The beluga whale is an Arctic mammal, animals with warm blood that have adapted to living in this very cold climate. They have a thick layer of fat beneath their skin called blubber that traps in the heat. <laughs> I bet their teeth are always chattering. Whales do make noises, but different from what you'd expect. In fact, if we use our listening ears and the wind is just right, you can hear a very special sound indeed. Let's listen. <gasps> oh, I think I hear something, but I'm not sure what it is. Hmm, me neither. Hey, I know the perfect game we can play. What's that sound? Yeah! Do you want to play too? Awesome! What's that sound? Follow your ears, what do you hear? A honk, a splash, or even a roar! Listen all around for the sounds today! Okay, let's listen. There's sound everywhere, if you listen closely. Even up here at the top of the world. Check out this recording I made using underwater microphones. Those are singing bowhead whales. Whoa! What are they singing about? No one knows for sure, but we think that whales sing to communicate with each other, sometimes to whales that are very far away. Also, it might be that whales like to sing, just like we do, eh? I love to sing! La -ha 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 -ha. <laughs> I'm a singing whale! <laughs> Great job, Mika! I thought you were a real whale there for a second! <laughs> Me too! And did you know something else about bowhead whales? They live longer than any mammal on Earth! 200 years! That's a lot of birthday candles! If you like, I'll grab my snowmobile and we can go look for more Arctic animals. I think you'll be surprised by what we find. Boy, would we! All right, let's go! Snowmobile, snowmobile Ain't nothing faster on the ice than the snowmobile Speeding through the snow, let's take the wheel Snowmobile, snowmobile on a frozen journey, is this real? Snowmobile, snowmobile. There's a huge polar bear. Wow, wow she rocks. Look, there's a hare and an arctic fox. So can you hear the whale song too? Yeah. Yes, I can hear the whale song too. Woo! Snowmobile, snowmobile. Ain't nothing faster on the ice than the snowmobile. Ain't nothing faster on the ice than the snowmobile. Look around. See any animals? 
All I see is snow. Whoa! Snow everywhere. Oh, there's a... No. Oh, never mind. That's just a tree branch. Look a little closer. Oh, wait. I do see something. It's a cute little bunny. But totally covered in white fur. Bingo! That's a snowshoe hare. She's keeping a close eye on the white arctic fox sneaking around her den. And that white fur helps keep smaller animals safe from bigger animals, like the polar bear. Speaking of, look! Way off in the distance, there's a polar bear. So cool! Oh, I wish we could explore all day, but we should get back to the clubhouse. Sure thing. Oop, it seems my snowmobile won't start. Oh, I have an idea. Mackenzie, we'll use this rope to tie your snowmobile behind us. Hey, that's a great idea, eh? Hang on tight! Whee! Ow, ow, ow! Yeah! Well, that was quite a ride. Ooh, you said it! It's exciting to see these animals in their natural habitat, but it's also very important to give them space. Yeah! We had a lot of fun learning about Arctic animals. Thanks for showing us around. Oh, the pleasure was all mine. Stop by anytime. Bye bye, bye Mackenzie! We saw so many amazing things on our field trip to the Arctic. You're right, Mika. It's been so much fun learning new things today. What did we learn today? Learning is so cool. One, two, three. Can you tell me? I learned that animals like the snowshoe hare and arctic fox have all white fur so they can blend in with the snow and keep them safe. Yeah! And I learned that animals who live in really cold weather have a layer of fat called blubber that helps keep them warm. But Debo should probably just get a coat and mittens. <laughs> oh, and don't forget about bowhead whales who sing to communicate with other whales and can live up to 200 years or longer. Aw, yeah! I liked it all so much. Wait, I have an idea. Let's have another road trip real soon. Great idea, Mika. And you're invited, too. Bye! Bye bye Jump in the Blippi-mobile. Jump in! We're playing and learning along the way. Hey, adventures, come this way. It's Blippi and Mika's ultimate road trip. Yay! <laughs> this podcast is executive produced by Moonbug Entertainment and Wheelhouse DNA.